Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Hi guys, this is Rob <laughs> in 105 degree weather. And this is uh, the beginning of part two of our journey to become sunbirds. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, it was, it's been hot. Uh, so we brought the RV to the house and it's out front here. And right now I'm draining the water. I'm gonna actually run some bleach through the water and just uh, uh, clean out the system. It has, it's been sitting for four months, so it's time to clean it up. So anyway, I'm draining the water. You can see water coming out of the back. And uh, where I live, we don't have an HOA, but we are allowed to park rigs in front of our houses up to three days. So this is two days before we leave. So. We're just getting it ready to go. We'll be vacuuming and cleaning and uh, getting everything all ship shape since we haven't used the RV in a while. So anyway, that's the update. Stay tuned. So here's our RV in 105 degree weather, day before we leave, and just so I show you how we park in front of our house. Our neighbor get, gave us some cones to put in the road, and tonight we'll pull the slides and start adding some of our supplies to get on the road. Okay, I'm back. This is the uh, second day that the RV's been in the drive. And uh, our neighbors were really nice and gave us some cones to put out in the parking lot just to be a little more safer. And uh, one thing I gotta be careful is when we open up the slides, it really takes up a lot of the road. So we try to be tactful about that. So right now we're cycling the water that has bleach in it. And uh, today we fill the RV with water and pop and food and all that stuff and the next morning we're gonna be leaving so we haven't had any problems just been kind of cleaning things up been a little dusty but we're excited to get on the road and uh, get, get out of the parking lot so you can see this is right outside our house and uh, everything's working good so that's the report so far well tonight before we're leaving Loading stuff in. Got a full moon tonight. It's kind of cool. Sherry. Sherry's loading up all of her stuff. <laughs> and uh, it's hot out here. I mean, it's even the evening. And Cinder's ready to go too. Hi, Cinder. Hey. The next day, we got on the road and drove for quite a few hours. Uh, to Las Vegas actually so we uh, managed to leave around noon and got to Vegas in the evening at a reasonable time and this is us pulling into the Oasis RV Resort in Las Vegas and this is a really nice resort we really enjoy coming here unfortunately we're just gonna spend the night but here's a little glimpse of what it's like coming into Oasis RV Resort in Las Vegas so hi guys we've been driving all day didn't show you too much but we're at the oasis rv resort in las vegas just spending the night um hoping to get a good dinner and get all hooked up and just get the rv all kind of coordinated since this is our first day and tomorrow we leave to head up towards reno area so and we're doing our paperwork and we this is one of the, our favorite rv resorts i wish we could stay longer but it's just overnight so if you want to know, it's not the cheapest place to stay. It's usually around 50 bucks or higher. So it's you're not the best place to do an overnighter. It's more than that. It's more than that, yeah. It's, I think like $58 a night. Yeah, we got a discount because we've been here before. So anyway, nice place to go if you get a chance. Talk to you later. Well, it's a little breezy out here, sorry, but uh, this is the next morning. We're at the Oasis, getting, <laughs> having our time getting started. Just uh, a lot of little things to do and finding little things about the RV it needed adjusted. It hasn't been used for a while. So today we're going to hook up and try to get up to Reno area. Uh, we got about 400 miles to go, so it'll be a long day. And But the, the weather should be getting cooler, so we're looking forward to that. So. Next time I talk to you, we'll be on the road. Back on the road again, heading towards Reno. 
looking at nothing but desert for hours. <laughs> and so, yep, you just sit there and see desert and more desert, and then you see more desert, and eight hours later you show up to the Reno area. Well, we're stuck in the middle of the desert for road construction. The good thing we have good music radio to listen to. I had to put a plug in there. So we got, we're just sitting here in the middle of the desert between Las Vegas and Reno. Well, we made it to Fallon, Nevada, which is about an hour out of Reno. It got about it was about 7:30 when we got here, so we decided to just call it quits. It was a long drive. So anyway, so we went from Vegas to Reno. Tomorrow we'll go to Central Oregon and uh, uh, see Sherry's folks, and then we travel one more time up to Anacortes, and that's where we begin the next process. We'll get to stay up there for three days, and we're gonna unload a storage unit. So lots of driving. Anyway, but yeah, we're doing good being safe long drive nothing but desert 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 so anyway so the place we're staying is not very special so i'm not going to show it but all right talk to you later stay tuned next episode when we make it to central oregon spend the night head up to washington and show you the beautiful ocean hopefully we can wake up our dog Thanks for joining us on our journey to Washington and coming back with our goodies. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Be safe and we'll see you next time. Bye now.